What's up guys, Deepool? Welcome back to another reaction video. Well, technically this is not a reaction video, but today I will be reacting to one of my former teachers, Kaylin Brown. So um, now she's, I gave, I actually told her I was going to make an autobiography book. And speaking of autobiography, I'm going to be releasing DB's Moji card. I don't know, uh, you're not going to know when, but I'll be releasing that and um, Let's just get to the video. So, Kayla, let's see what you got. Hello. Hi. One of my former students is writing an autobiography. He asked me for advice, so here I am to share what I know. First, All right. I want to tell you a secret. To the reader, autobiographies are just stories. True. They don't care if you tell them they every don't. detail exactly how it happened in 100% chronological order. In yeah, true. They don't. They don't. Let's just continue on the video. In fact, some of the best sold autobiographies were later found out to be full of lies. I'm not saying fill your autobiography with lies. I was about to say, because I recently had an album, A7 Nine Inch Young Locus Art, and I was full of lies, and um, I, I am so sorry, I'm never gonna do that again, but this book does not have any lies in it. So, let's continue. That's not good either. That's but not. Like any story, you need compelling characters, plots, sure. and subplots, and mm -hmm. some semblance of a theme or themes. So <laughs> second, as I said earlier, it doesn't have to be in chronological order. It's you not. You have to start with birth or childhood and end with present day you. Alright, uh, Kayla, I wanted to say something. Yes, this book does start um, when I was born, but uh, it has an introduction. I gotta spoil the book a little bit. But, um,. Uh, but it you it does not end at present day, and I'm not telling you guys when it's gonna end. So let's just continue on the video. That actually tends to make autobiographies less interesting. True. When you tell someone about yourself, you typically don't start at the beginning of your life. You kind of jump around, connecting relevant experiences together. That's the same way to write an autobiography. Instead of organizing chapters by age, it makes a lot more sense to organize them based on themes. Alright, I was going to say, I am not doing my chapters by age, and now that's just plain old stupid. Well, not stupid, but cliche, but uh, for my chapters, I'm actually recording it, not recording, but um, putting it by uh, when something happens and etc, etc, and the theme, as you just said. But let's continue. Save the chronological version for when you get famous and someone writes a biography about you. Finally, and this right. may be controversial, but consider not writing an autobiography. Most books yeah. draw from people's personal lives, even fiction. So you don't actually have to write an autobiography to tell people about your life. Alright, I was gonna say, um, uh, I don't do realistic fiction. That's not really my thing, but, uh, I was, um, Planning if I get used to drawing a little more, I can um, release some comics, and I'm not telling you when I'm going to. But um, I will be taking drawing class in my next year of high school. So, all right, but I don't do realistic fiction. Popular trend right now is to write a book based on a true story. This has the full benefits of informing the reader that what you're saying happened in real life while still giving you the freedom to embellish a bit. It also frees sure. you as an author to write about real people without them later reading your story and being like, why did you make me seem like a villain? All right, I have to say something. Oh God. I was gonna say, I am going to have um, the people in my life, they are gonna be mentioned in this book and you do know who you are. But, um, uh, uh, most of them I'm gonna mention by their names. Well, um, last names is not going to be in the book. Well, for some people, but, um, but, uh, and then if I don't remember your name or, uh, if I don't feel like saying your name, um, it, it, it won't be in this book. But as I said, um, the people that are in my life, you know who you are, you will be mentioned in this book. So... Let's just keep going. For example, the main story I've been working on is based on real life, but I <clears> combine <throat> multiple people into individual characters to make the story less confusing. And All right. I just straight up added for dramatic effect. But overall, <clears throat> these changes make it a better story, and I'd rather write a meaningful book than a self-indulgent one. To summarize, autobiographies are really just stories. 
So don't sacrifice quality for realism. If you like right. this video, click that like button. If you agree. All right, so we get what she's saying. Click that like button and get the notification. Everybody says that, including me. But let's get to my call, uh, or whatever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So this was me reacting to Kayla's capsule, writing advice, autobiographies. Make sure you subscribe to her channel. She is a nice person. She she got me through life, and um, uh. Yeah, so, um, thanks for the info, Kayla. I would really use that info to put in my AG. No, it's AB. <clears throat> but, um, uh, but let's get to the usual. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I said the same thing, but if this has been the first time you saw by me, please subscribe to subscribe to join my Money Nights Club. And remember, Get money or you'll be funny.